Now, let's uh, go to first, let's go to the NPP's uh, Paul Afoko. He's got a few things to say about whether or not he was beating a retreat when he suggested he issued a rejoinder to a, the story earlier that he had said that Bahamia was going to take a lead role in the NPP's campaign for 2016. So we are looking at both that issue and the NDC's project, one million votes in Ashanti region, which Nanado says is a dream. Mahmoud Baumia is actually, as we speak, being part of the preparatory work. You see, the kind of work that takes place before a full-blown campaign is such that a lot of people are playing different roles. And in playing those roles, sometimes they're in the back room, you don't see them. Sometimes they step forward where you will see them. Sometimes they step to the side or they work in, in a team. So Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is part of our campaign work. Don't forget his background. So he is a statistician, a research person par excellence, and a banker, an economist. So in the things he does, there are things he does that you will not hear of. I mean, for example, the lecture he gave only this past week at the university, he gave that in his position, in the position that he occupies with the university, and also the fact that in the world of academia, he has lectured even in Oxford in Canada, in Cambridge. He has gone to deliver lectures. So in delivering a lecture, which is in the area of his professional expertise, of course he will hit the limelight. But that is all inuring to the benefit of the party. The party will not sneer at that. The, the party has not, is, is there not a deliberate strategy to put out Baumia more, uh, I mean, put him there at the front line? When you talk of strategy, everything that we do as a strategy is deliberate. We've deliberated it. We've but put it together. Is is, is there, everything is deliberate. I'm asking specifically, is this deliberate to put Palmyra out there to uh, push, put him more on the front line? Everything we do is deliberate. Everything, we do, everything we do is deliberate. Mm. Okay, so that's uh, Paul Afoko, who is the national chairman of the New Patriotic Party in opposition. And that's the original statement or uh, comment he made, which he sought later on to uh, sort of correct by saying that he didn't actually say that Baumia was going to be giving the front row to lead the party in the elections. Now, Gabby, <coughs> some say he's backtracking, some say if that's the policy, what's wrong with it? I'm not too sure that the chairman of the MPP said anything wrong. Um, and, but clearly, it was open to, to a twist. Um, but I think that is allowed. But the key thing is, when you have an asset like Baumia, you don't hide him. There's absolutely no two ways about it. What happened in 2008? The NDC had a three-track campaign. They had Rawlings on the other hand. They had um, the presidential candidate, Professor Mills, and then they had the John. man they called Obama at the time, <laughs> John, John, John Obama. <laughs> yeah. So, so they had a three-track campaign. And why did they do that? They knew that the grassroots of the party responded to, to Rawlings, he was the news carrier. They also knew that Mills was the candidate, the one whose picture had to be on the ballot paper. So he was out there campaigning. And they knew that Joe Mahama could add on, you know, play a key role 
in adding on to the, the, the attractiveness of, of the ticket. So they, 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 they took him out there. And why would it be different? So he's, he's an asset, not just because of his economic competence, but politically. I mean, the wit of this man is, is unbelievable. You know, so, so if you have such an asset, <coughs> how do you hide him? If you look at even the... the and your, your critics say the plan is that Nanado mm -hmm. may not have the stamina to be able uh, to do a good campaign. Well, let, let me hear yeah, those things. Critics are allowed to say <laughs> they said whatever they wanted and about. Just as, just as you said yeah. about Mills and John Mahama. Well, uh, the, I'm not too sure the, they are the same thing. I'm not so sure, but that's not even relevant because at the other day, Mills was, was elected as president. But I, but I think the key, to me, the key thing is that you have, if you look at even the primaries that Nana, Nana, Nana's primaries, the campaign, he used his running mate. He was even then his running mate. But he gave, he carved out a part of the country and said, you focus there, whilst I will be going across the country. You know, and, and I believe, for instance, because the campaign has not started, now the, is, is to look at issues and to put the government on its toes. MPP campaign has not started. I mean, well, now I've, I'm sort of, I've pulled, I've pulled back from politics. So I'm not too sure. The deliberate policies that Afoko is talking about, I may not be privy to, to them. But it's quite clear that a campaign has not started. So what do you do? You have people like Akotose, they're out there. Because what is he? Former finance minister on top of the issues. And really the bottom line is about management of the economy. So if you have an asset like Baumia, would you not put him out there? And this is a man that now I describe him what? As the puppet of the economy. Mm. Because what he says comes, comes to pass. So, so being out there, to me, it's, 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 um, it's, it's something that is so natural and should be expected. And, and he, you see the reason you, you challenge the NDC that it is wishful thinking that they can make a million votes in the Ashanti region? I think, I, I, you know, politics is sometimes, you know, you know, I think it was, was it John Browning who said, you should always reach beyond your, your reach, <laughs> if you like. You know, so so I, I think they can say that. But I would rather look at the facts. Mm -hmm. And let me show what you. What do the facts say? Um, it's better to look from 1996. You know, 92 is a bit of an abrasion, isn't it? If we could so, start from 2000. Yeah, I would even look at that from 96, if you don't mind. Okay? 96, NDC got 412,474 from Ashanti region. 2000, it dropped to 278,567. And then 2004, it went up to 398,362. 2008, 438,234. 2012, 612,606. Now, when you look at it, at the trend, you, you are not looking at anything beyond 2.5%. It, it ebbs and flows. But what you see is that the percentage change in NDC votes from 96 to 2012 is 48.52%. Okay? While in MPP, it is 84.96%. In terms of from 826,804 to 1,531,152. So this is what you are dealing with. In terms of percentage growth in, the, in votes, NDCs is half that of the MPP in real numbers. Okay? And you can even look at the NDC's own um, um, stronghold, which is, which is voter region. Over from 96 to 2012, it has shot up from 690,421 to 734,641. That's for NDC. Whilst for MPP, 34,538 to 111,149. So you are looking at a 221.81% increase in the MPP vote, whilst the NDC wanted about 7% or thereabout. You know, so if I, I just want to deal with the, the facts, not, nothing beyond that taking it at face value. So if you say that you are going to, even looking at the trend, if you give the NDC 2.5 percentage increase, which they haven't been able to achieve beyond that, for, the, for, for 2016, it adds up to how many? Let me, let me just look at the figures. It adds up to 
to them getting 627,931, as opposed to the 612,606. So I'm not too sure where they're going to get it. And when you look at it, every time that they go to the second term, or any party goes to the second term, I'm not even using the NDC, MPP, your vote, the percentage share drops. So it is as unless, of course, President John Mama, through the hundred and something million we are getting from the IMF, <laughs> will be able to, to do some magic that we haven't seen in, 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 in the political, political electoral trend of this country. And, and he's going to create actually one million jobs. He's going to somehow make sure that there's, there's milk flowing from our taps at Adenta and East Legon and <laughs> all over those places. I, I'm not too sure how he's going to do it. You know, so, so looking at the facts, I think really it is, it is wishful thinking. And if it helps them, it inspires them to work harder. I think politically, maybe the propaganda has its value. But the, the other side of the coin is that it may also inspire your opponents to work harder mm. and see if they can also what, add one million to okay. their uh, which can't happen. But uh, really, uh, let me, the let me realities come to Dr. And, the, and the trend... Let me come to Dr. Park. Don't and I want me. to start on this note with um, a part of an article that's uh, written by Justice Monarch. Uh, Justice Monarch has been writing profusely on issues that have to do with the NPP, and he does a very analytical work. He says the NDC has consistently, since 2000 elections, increased its share of Ashanti votes. That is 21.59 percent in 2000, 24.06 percent in 2004, 26.13 percent in 2008, and 28.35 percent in 20. 12. This gives an average increase of about 9.34% every subsequent election, which means that the NDC is more likely to increase its share of Ashanti region votes again in 2016, and this has been estimated to be 31.0% of valid votes, with the, with the rate at which total registered voters is growing it has also been estimated that it will increase by some 23.26% um, from the 2012 figure to 3,151,841 in 2016. This will also be accompanied by an estimated 70.81% turnout and a total valid vote of 2 uh, million nine one hundred and ninety seven thousand four hundred apart well um, I think this is a very interesting uh, debate mm. and uh, quite clearly um, the NDC truly believes that uh, year in year out as uh, Gabby's own figures have indicated uh, of course his conclusions are different mm. but his figures uh, are complemented by the excerpts from the article that you have read. Not, not, not entirely. Well, well, well but, but that is my 90, understanding. 96, the NDC is, got 32.80 percent Do you share. have to respond any time your name okay. is drawn? And it went down. Down. So okay. I said after <laughs> second term, mm. after so second term. So what you do, what you do, Dr. Park, is to ask him a question directly. That what do you do, he responds. I, I think I will uh -huh. do that. I will cease mentioning his name. Okay. Because <laughs> any time I do, he jumps in. The project one million votes in Ashanti, quite clearly, is meant to serve a number of purposes. Um, of course, you can talk about the the, the, the psychological value of that. But you can also speak that the government is doing in the Ashanti region and even some of the other dynamics in terms of the increase in the population of settler communities in the Ashanti region itself. It is something of settler communities in the Ashanti region itself. It is something that is achievable. And in other words, what is wrong with a political party or party activists setting a target and working to achieve it. I mean, the day is going to come. Mm. We will find out if the one million votes have been achieved. And if they have, they have not, we would assess where we fell short and try to use that to plan for the 2020 uh, election. Mm. But I am very confident 
that if you have monitored the activities of the NDC in the Ashanti region, not only are they very prominent and active in promoting the president's transformational agenda, and indeed you remember that they even uh, held um, you know, a, a public event to bring to the fore the, the, the many developmental projects that this government is undertaking uh, in, in, the, in the Ashanti region. So, uh, well, it would be to their own peril if, if they took this uh, uh, for granted and, and just dismissed this. Mm. As, it's, it's, as, as it's, it's interesting that they needed, they needed a public forum to tell the people the projects that were being done that were supposed to be impacting because their lives. Because others but, use but, public, similar public <laughs> fora okay. to try and talk down on the projects that were being done. Okay. Um, so now, what Justice Monarch says is, if the NDC is estimated to take 31.0% share of the figure that I earlier spoke about, that will translate to 681,161 in votes for the NDC, which will be just some 11.19% jump over the 2012 figure and will fall short of the 1 million Ashanti vote for Mahama in 2016 by a whopping uh, 318,839 votes. Now, if as per the growth rates of uh, TVR and TVV, the NDC is taking 1 million votes from the Ashanti region, that would mean taking about 45.5 share percent share of the Ashanti vote, that would be a very huge jump of over 17 <laughs> percent, of over 17 percent from the 22.35 percent they got in 2012. Well, I mean, the, this is this how, is politics. How, how is this ever you, possible? This is, this is politics. How is this ever possible? This is politics. So you ought to be practical. Uh, there are the, 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 the figures and, and the projections mm. and the statistical analysis. Right. And there is also the ground game. And mind you, we are dealing with human behavior, human subjects. Which has which has which shown a certain consistency. Is, but trends do change. <laughs> but at a certain point, you expect a certain jump but, that, but, is, but trends, that, that is unexplained. You understand that cannot trends, be explained. You understand that trends do change. Well, you do you accept Buhari has shown. <laughs> <laughs> this time I didn't invite you. <laughs> but again, the point I'm making is that this is a, 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 a party in a region which has drawn uh, its plan and truly believes that it has what it takes to be able to garner these number of votes for the president. And of course, being that I'm a member of the ruling party, we are encouraging them. They should work their hearts out. They should go door knocking. They should point out all the projects from the, the, uh, the military hospital to the roads to the water projects. They should point them out. Mm. And look, mind you, you see, the NDC has suffered some serious collateral gaffes in recent times. There was this uh, affirmative action, action bulge to you the, mean the NPP? Yeah, the yeah. NPP. Sorry about that. Uh, to this, uh, you know, ethnocentric comment by Osafo Mafu. All of these things don't augur well for them. And they will inure to the life. benefit of the NDC. Of course, everyone knows. It, it, everyone knows that it, we are it, does, it, it doesn't matter even, even if Baumia is in the lead of the campaign. Oh, but why? Baumia has been proven.
and then you make a statement to the effect that Bormia is going to be a very central piece of your strategy. And of course, naturally, people are going to read a lot of meaning into it. Mm. That perhaps, perhaps, with all due respect, you know, the flag bearer may not have the capacity to wage a full-blown campaign. And perhaps one of the reasons why Bormia is being propped up and giving uh, that level of vis visibility is to prepare him to become the successor. If, if the NDC did not believe that Professor Mills were admittedly had problems, you know, could prosecute a full-blown campaign, why is this a problem when it comes to Akufuado? Well, it is a problem because the conditions have made it so possible. What's Akufuado's problem? That he's, he's 70? Yeah, is, that, is that what it is? I, I, the I, issue I, is he's 70. Age. Because I don't think there's any, I, I, I there's, there's no even, evidence I, that I, he's I, not I, well. I, Gabby, 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 but Gabby, he's 70, if, so he can't tell us. Thank you, thank you Gabby. Tell us. Oh, but you thank can you, see whether the man is well. If he's not well, would you tell us? Oh, but he's an honest man. He's not like you. I'll ask you a question. Would you tell us if he's not well? Okay, stop asking Gabby questions. That's not a Thank you, thank you. Okay, 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 now, now, let me come to, let me come to, let me come to you. Let me come to you. Yeah, that cocoa is in the eating. You see it, where the campaign starts. Sorry. <laughs> and and uh, I must mention that uh, Dr. Park is taking a lot of flack on 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 um, on Twitter for some comment he made when he suggested that you know everything was okay and well. And he's somebody, looking in the mirror. Somebody he posted. He knows. Somebody he's posted. He's doing so well. He looks in the mirror. And somebody he posted the initial comment. Well. Dr. Park. But but all is all is good well. and well in Ghana. Well, very he, insensitive. Did I and, really say that? And that is from uh, Kofi Asensu, and it's been retweeted no, no, but I've never by said a couple that. of Even others. The president agreed. Right, that there that, are challenges. That we are having challenges. Right. Now, I, I now that everything nice. was okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> did I truly say that? All right. Okay, so now, now yeah, see, the scenario, the analysis yeah. that uh, Justice Monak is making, what it simply means is that statistically, you would need um, total registered voters in excess of. 5.5 million for, I mean, as a turnout for the NDC to be able to make the numbers that they are seeking in the Ashanti region. It looks like it's so practically impossible and, you know, lends credence to what Nanako Fuadu says. That's wishful thinking. Well, I mean, first of all, there's nothing wrong with dreaming big. Mm. I mean, you don't lose anything. Mm. Rather, it may be the stepping stone on which you can achieve greater heights. Mm. But I think in fact, the turnout they would need will be 139 percent turnout. But, but I think, all the, all the, <laughs> in my own respectful view, I think all these are premised on a wrong or a misconstruction of the law. Mm. First of all, who will be the beneficiary of these votes? Have they already confirmed President Mahama as their next candidate? Because in Ghana, we don't vote for political parties to form government. Under Article 55, it said political parties may sponsor a person to become president. And the personalities involved in their nature have always shown uh, or influenced the votes. That is why you, there were quite a number of constituencies where President Mahama had more votes than the sitting uh, MP or the MP who, who was contesting. Mm. So this idea of NDC will have this and NPP will have this, in my own understanding, I think that it is very important that we ask ourselves, who are the personalities <coughs> that are going to present themselves? At least we know of that of NPP. But we don't know of that of NDC. Well, we know the NDC, we have been told that no one is going to challenge oh, well, the I mean, that, that, As far as I'm concerned, the legal processes to nominate or present a person to us to vote for they have not even commenced it, but, but, or they have not comment. completed. Mm. You understand? So until I'm, I, I know of the person who is going to be the beneficiary mm. of this dream, or even the one dreaming in the first place, I will, I, will, I will just say that there's nothing wrong with anybody dreaming for another person. But okay, so look at it in terms of the parties and not the individuals. Oh, well, I'll be wrong if I do so, because I don't believe that we vote for parties. And it is the same thing that... Dr. Baumier's presence may also be important because he stands elected if um, Nana Kufado is elected. Right. And we need the presence of this person. Now, there's no doubt that President Mahama contributed substantially to the, um, to the, um, the, the, 
the victory mm. of pres President uh, Maham, Mills. President Mills, sorry. Mm. There's no doubt about that. And we also know, at least some statistics show that in the last election, MVP did better in the, some parts of the northern region because of Dr. Baumia's um, presence as well. So I don't see anything wrong with it. But if we should continue, in my respective view, to mis misconstrue the person who used to form government, then we may be getting some of these things wrong. If you take Ashanti region, I think it's maybe greater Accra may challenge it, but it's the most cosmopolitan um, constituency in this whole country or area in this country. Most cosmopolitan? I'm saying that so we mean with, 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 with yeah, greater Accra okay. yeah. may even challenge it. Mm. But, but to a large extent, Ashanti region is Kosovo Greek mm. and some other traditional yeah. trading. And when you look at the record, the more you move away from Ashanti region, you will see a trend where other non-natives, if mm -hmm. for want of a better word, converge there, where agriculture is the main trade, mm -hmm. and also some parts uh, talking about Borong fishing. Halfway area it's going so towards mm -hmm. Bronga halfway and so on. And that is where President Mahama sometimes will even get 48%. Mm -hmm. So we need to look well, at... Well, there's no doubt in the Ashanti region areas where the NDC has seats, yes. you can tell... Obviously yes, even that. within Kumasi yes. itself. Speaking about settler mm. yeah. Yes, even within Kumasi itself. Mm. Mm. So I Asawasi. think that Aswasi, mm. yes, in Kumasi. I think that <laughs> until the NDC and the other political parties have presented to us the person they want to stand for election to become president to form a government, dreaming for those persons will be normal, but as to whether or not those people will even believe in that dream. It's another matter because they are the ones that will be beneficiaries yeah. of this dream. So I don't see anything wrong with, for example, Dr. Baumia, because what is campaigning? I mean, the traditional campaigning of moving from one place to another, I think is gradually move, we are gradually moving away. Now with technology, you will be there, you get text messages from all over the angles people campaigning for or asking you to study this particular person that is being offered or, or who is offering himself to become president. It, it doesn't have to be this consistent moving from one place to another, public uh, involvement in terms of physical contact with the presidential candidate or his, his running mate. So as far as that is concerned, for example, in the villages, I mean, my mother would be very happy to get she may not know it's a text message, but to show something to me on her phone, that let's say President Mahama is asking her to vote for him. I mean, or Nana Kufado. So let us also take advantage of the presence of technology. Mm. Now, almost every Ghanaian who, who is entitled to have a phone, some have two, three different lines. Why don't you also look at that aspect? But what worries me really is that, especially with the MPP, mm. I think they are becoming victims of their own press happy syndrome <laughs> that every little thing i mean if you are talking about strategies why should you at this point tell your let's say your foe for where, for want of a better way these are going to be my strategy this is not a legal battle in court mm -hmm. where you tell your opponent ahead of time that when we get into the ring I will hit your right chin no, first. And that's, that's actually that's because you are compelled by the rules. That, yes. It used to be that you used to ambush. Yes, and now it's even going <laughs> yeah, to don't be advise more. Them. Let so, carry on. so I think that the, the, the press happy syndrome is really, really worrying. And they may once again be the victims of this. They will be having meetings, and before they finish, every, the whole world knows about the conclusion of their meetings. Very terrible. <laughs> and that is why sometimes yeah. you may agree with the C.A. Dunketia that they should come to him mm -hmm. for, for, um, for tutorials <laughs> on pragmatic management of political parties. I think, well, it's good to be transparent, but in a game like this, I think it's more prudent to keep some of these strategies to yourself. It was interesting. I think I read from my joy online yesterday. Mm. Interestingly, Baba Jamal has supplied the MPP party <laughs> yes. With computers, computers and, and printers and so yeah. on. 
attack with you. And they've accepted it. They yeah, have they accepted, accepted it just oh, yesterday. In fact, you could see the pictures yeah. 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 With, the, with the but yeah. seeking but, to build yeah. peace. In this yeah. day and age, remember, being, remember that constituency has had its own history. That, that is it. And is he's <laughs> seeking to build peace within the place. But without being cynical, I've been reliably informed that the party is donating it to a school. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, the party is right donating thing. it to but, the school. But you see, I, I okay. don't see the So the party will go to the school and donate the computer and assets. That is the computer yes. or it is. On Baba Jamal. Yeah. Yeah. On behalf of Baba Jamal. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Baba Jamal is giving it to them. <laughs> <laughs> and they are donating you it see? to the school. All right, it's all right, it's all right. See, without just the computer, yeah. don't be mm. cynical. These days with the, what people can do with computers mm. and gadgets, continue to accept these things. Oh, from quote unquote, your, your enemies. I see. Ah. I'm still hey, you are like a like a, <laughs> like a Trojan horse, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> now um, I'm coming to Abdul Malik and uh, a champion. Isn't that interesting? A champion says any analysis of NDC or NPP vote increase in any region without a com corresponding reason for the increase is not scientific. Stop the inflow of people registering across regions, disrupting the process on election day. Create a new voter register and don't go to sleep on election day. Be vigilant until each vote is verified and the NDC will not get beyond 400,000 votes in the Ashanti region. Okay, um, that's uh, <coughs> NDC will tell you that's also wishful thinking. <laughs> right, and uh, I mean, very interesting. Some people are reading all the, the politics into it, Nana. And Sam Obafo in the UK says maybe the NDC has uh, some, uh, you know, uh, <coughs> intentions of, you know, uh, malpractice in the region. And then That's the NDP will also sit down for the NDC to ah. get away with Okay, now, with that. now do my little go back. Let's look at this one million agenda for the NDC.